opening day for the Jumbo Shrimp. Best ticket in town, the most fun you can have all summer long right here. We're going to go behind the scenes. We're going to get out in front of the scenes. We're actually on the field even as we speak. New food, new places to watch. The can't miss promotions because you know they do promotions unlike anything else. Some really creative ones they've got going on this year. The, things that push the envelope yeah. of comfort. They find that line and just tiptoe over it. Gets wild. <laughs> Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Katie Jeffries. We are here from the baseball grounds this morning. And I'm Lou Turner. So uh, a little cool this morning. We, we've got the, the humidity, though. We can feel it. And uh, you know summer's right around the corner. So it's always hot uh, out here at the baseball grounds, no matter what. Um, a lot of things happening, mm -hmm. though, before first pitch. Tonight, 7.05. But we've also got like kind of this big street festival that's going to be going down as well. Um, games we played, we're going to have face paint. We're going to have a rock wall. Vendors, a DJ is going to be spinning some of the hits of the 70s. Ready to rock. For some baseball again, 705 is your first pitch. So of course people want to know what the weather is going to be like. Is it going to be chilly? Is it going to be perfect? Like kind of yesterday was perfect yeah, weather was. for baseball in the evening. So let's check in with meteorologist Mike Prangley. He's down here with us. Hey, Mike. Yes, hey, we've got great weather out here. And as we take a look, boy, it's like the field of dreams out here. What a gorgeous venue and we've got gorgeous weather to go with it. In fact, as we take a look, we are talking about temperatures starting off in the 50s this morning, getting you out the door by high noon temperatures moving up to 76 degrees. So we're going to start to see temperatures back where they should be this time of year. And then as we head into the evening, a few increasing clouds, but that'll just give us a gorgeous sunrise and a sunset to enjoy right over there. So we're going to enjoy a beautiful day. Let's get to the baseball forecast. It's like a field of dreams spinning the baseball around. We've got our first pitch 68 degrees and we'll have an east southeast wind. So the wind's actually going to be blowing in from right center field. Um, as we look at the seventh inning stretch, we can get up and sing and enjoy. Maybe get some Cracker Jacks and a hot dog with temperatures in the 60s. And don't forget, after the game, we've got the fireworks show. So some good news with that, but we've got nature's fireworks that may return Friday. We'll talk more about that coming right up. Right, and let's get you guys going out there this morning. I hope you guys are feeling fabulous. So as we make our way out the door, things actually look pretty good along your roadway. So I-95 moving without any problems, which is great to be able to see. And if you're making your way around town, I'm not seeing any major issues out there on your roadways. Of course, we did have some, you know, overnight construction and whatnot, but nothing that seems to be causing any big issues for you guys. If you're driving in from the beaches, Atlantic Beach and JTB all look pretty nice. Maybe you're driving down from Nassau County, not seeing any problems there along I-95. So overall, it's a good start to the morning. If anything rolls in, we are still watching your roadways. We're watching the shrimp and we're watching your roadways. Anything happens, I'll be the first to let you know. Back out here live, it is the baseball grounds. We're right here along the warning track. Um, in just a few hours this evening, I mean, we're, thousands of people. I mean, some 10,000 people are going to just load this place down. You've seen the signs all over Jacksonville. Affordable family fun, and it truly is. I mean, you can get in here for five bucks and uh, and, and have a wonderful view of baseball over the park. Yeah, maybe you want to be a part of Crustacean Nation. Be a part of out it. Out here, you can do that for five dollars, but if you just want to take it up, like, take it up a notch, just a little scotch. Yeah. There are some, you know, kind of private boxes out there as well, and that's where we're going to find our Alana Harris. She's inside one of those sky boxes out here with a little bit of a closer look at some of the perks up there. Hey, Lana. Hey guys, when I tell you this seat is so comfortable and really I'm trying to think of who I know that could get me into one of these bad boys because this thing is sweet. We got some food spots over here. Keep your food nice and warm. Over here you've got a sink, you've got refrigeration, you've got a TV It can be on your menu or you can choose a lot of different channels they have ample seating. And then one thing that you can't see, but you'll definitely feel in July that air conditioning. Anyone can rent out one of these suites. They're sold on a nightly basis based on availability. It's going to run you about $750, but hey, get a group of 10 to 20 people and we're talking about a party. The rooms do come with 20 tickets and four parking passes. Their brilliant chefs cater the rooms and the menu packages can be anything from simple burgers and hot dogs to local Mayport shrimp dishes. And again, about that AC, with the way our summertime heat is set up, that almost sells itself. Uh, some of our fans might like to sit inside behind the glass windows, enjoy the AC, but have an un uninterrupted view of the field uh, while you might have the younger friends and family out there rooting the game on and, and heckling some players. You're going to feel like you're, you're definitely a part of the action, but you're going to feel like a, a piece of this ballpark was, was reserved just for you. 
definitely really cool up here. So it's a great idea for big groups, for birthday parties, for corporate events. And since we're up here, I got to show you this view. It is sick. It is so cool. Again, you've got your own little seating out here. And look at this. There you guys are. Wave. What up, guys? You actually, I, I, you know, generally speaking, Lana, and that's it's fantastic. I like to get out in the cheap seats, the $5, you mm -hmm. know, maybe catch a foul ball, but live in the lap of luxury up there for I, sure. In the summer when you have that air conditioning up there, yeah. not going to lie, it is pretty nice. Pretty clutch. But it's fun if you're going to sit out here in some of the $5 seats as well because you do have a chance at catching one of those baseballs. Love it. So there's a lot of different things. So here's some of the promotions that are going on. You've got general admission, like we said, that starts at $5, but also a military ID can get you in as well. There's also a $2 hot dog every night mm. that is complemented by various dollar beer promotions each Thursday. So remember that thirsty Thursday. And of course, come on out, enjoy that. Enjoy the party. Yeah, so uh, Thirsty Thursday, uh, tonight's Thursday. They're not going to do it tonight, open tonight. Big enough as it is, but mm -hmm. there is fireworks tonight. They're going to have some 22 different uh, fireworks shows throughout the summer. Tonight's one of those, and it's going to rival 4th of July in uh, Jacksonville. It's going to be a lot, of, a lot of fun. All right, so much more from the baseball grounds, your weather, your traffic, your national headlines as well on this very special day. Peanuts or Cracker Jacks? Ooh, peanuts. Peanuts. Yeah. I'm a Cracker Jacks man. We'll be right back from the baseball grounds in Jacksonville. Welcome back to the baseball grounds. We're joined by Brooks Baptiste. He's going to be our Alex Trebek, our Steve Harvey for our family. I'm going feud. with Steve Harvey. All right, let's I'm do going it. All right. Now you guys know the rules, so I'm going to ask you guys a question. Okay. You got to support each other. Since I'm going to, you know, kind of host and be the Steve Harvey, even Just if you say a rules. wrong answer, y'all <laughs> support each other. Okay. All right. First question: When were the baseball grounds of Jacksonville built? Here are your options. Oh, we get options. 2003, 2006, 2001, or 1999. 99. 99. 99. Good 99. answer. Good Party answer. Like it's good answer. Not a good answer. 2003. Oh, oh. Yeah, that was close right. though. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Like All right. So it is actually currently the largest baseball stadium in the um, the Southern League. So okay. Shout out to Jacksonville. All right. Out. Depending on where you're seated, which place that survived the Great Fire of 1901 can you have a scenic view of? All right. I'm going to give you a couple of options on this one. Is it Hemming Park? Old St. Andrew's Episcopal Church or Bethel Baptist Institutional Church? Bethel Baptist. Bethel I gotta Baptist. Go with your yeah, I knew you were going to go with that just because I went there. That's why I threw it in there. It's actually Old St. Andrew's oh, oh, Episcopal it's Church. The one right there. All right. It's, yeah, exactly. Got, Thank you. It's right, right there, 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 literally. You can't see Bethel from here. <laughs> That's <laughs> or like, Hemming Park. Well, Come on, guys. But there. I supported see, you. Thank yeah, y'all support each other. All right, here's the last one. With just how many bucks? Do you need to enter this state-of-the-art stadium? All right, now I'm going to give you a couple of options. If you guys get this one wrong, I'm just we walking off the set. Okay, two dollars, ten dollars, or five dollars. Five dollars. Yeah, we got it. We got it. All right. I'm Thank still you. shaking my head about the Hemming. Y'all jumped the gun. I even but, did stories but, about the fire of 1901. But you didn't say Hemming so Park, though, because that would have been there. worse, guys. <laughs> Let's have fun this morning, shall we? Hey, wipe the sleep out, try to get an extra cup of coffee. We're talking baseball with jumbo shrimp. Shrimp might be good for breakfast. A little shrimp and grits. Yeah. Ooh, fresh. Right